Hi everyone, this is Anna from VP Stay Team and today I will guide you through the latest team update VP Presentations 4.6. Starting with this team update, you can select a specific country for your location search field. You can add an additional price info in property page. You can choose to hide or show the property location on the map in property page. You can also start using two of our newest shortcuts, the category tabs and the property slider in all pages created with Elementor. You can also mark as sold properties you do not want to show in search results. And we have updated our home pages variations we showcase on our main demo with the latest shortcuts added with the team updates. And next I will make you a quick tour of these new features. I will start with the new option that allows you to select a specific country for geolocation. This option is available in search options geolocation. Here you have a list with all countries available as places. You can select any of the countries here and only results from that country will show in geolocation search and in the property submit form. The next feature I will show you is the property additional price field. This field shows next to price and in property detail section. You can add additional price as number and then you can also add text before and after the field. The currency number format and multi-currency options you set in team options will apply to this new field as well. You can also select these three fields to be part of the submit form if you will allow users to add properties on their own. And these three new fields will show in the submit form in the property price section. The next feature allows you to show or hide the property location on the map. This option can be enabled or disabled by property. You can also set this option globally and will apply for all properties automatically. And you can enable this option to be managed by users who are allowed to add listings on their own. You just enable the option to show in submit form and then users will be able to manage it in front end. The next new feature is a new widget for Elementor that allows you to display property categories as tabs. It will show the category name and the number of listings below. You can add as tabs categories, types, states, cities, areas, status or features. You can select the order of the categories. You can choose to show properties with no categories and also choose the number of items to show per row. There is also a separate styling section that allows you to manage the shortcut design. Next, I will show you quickly the new property slider variation for Elementor. This widget allows you to show properties from specific categories and you can also choose to show just listings marked as featured or specific properties you need to showcase by their ID. There is also a styling section to manage the shortcut design. The next feature is the mark as sold control for properties you do not want to show in search results. First, you create the property status. Then you manage the status of a property from edit property. And if you want to use this option, you go in team options and you can select the specific status you do not want to use in front end. When searching properties, the properties with the status will not show in results. However, you can still show the properties in your pages with the team shortcuts. We have five home pages variations updated on our main demo as well. We will publish detailed videos for how to manage each of these home pages separately. We will wrap this video here. Thank you for watching. We hope you will like this new team update and we invite you to stay tuned for the next one.